Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda here and welcome back to my channel, Hoot of the Sims. So today, as you can see from the title of the video, we are doing a brand new like Let's Play challenge. And obviously it's the Rags to Riches challenge. I've been talking about how I wanted to do this challenge for quite some time now and we're finally going to do it. Um, and this is our Sim. I forget her name because I don't name her until the end of this little clip. Um, but she is from a family that um, is very, very conservative, I would say. So they're very judgy. Um, they don't respect uh, anybody with differing opinions. And this sim here is very, very much um, confused about her sexuality and who she wants to be with in the future. And her parents were not okay with that. And she also wanted to be a creative person and... Um, you know, perform in the army as well and fight for her her rights, basically, and her parents were not respecting of that. They felt like she would be one of the people to die in the war, and they just kind of shunned her and kicked her out um, for wanting to basically be a good person. So she's on her own. She's homeless, and that's her backstory. And that is our sim, um, and sh that's why she's homeless, and that's why we are playing with her on the Rags to Riches Challenge. Her sister also is not a big fan of um, of our Sim's beliefs and what she likes and what she wants to be in life. So it's kind of an interesting storyline. I don't know when you guys are going to meet her family. Probably later on in the Let's Play, but not current. So, um, But her name is Lana. That's right. Lana Cadwall. And um, her aspiration is actually to be a chef as well. She's a very creative person and she wants to be into culinary um, but yeah, that's our sim, and we're gonna get into the Let's Play now. Okay, so as you guys can see, she is here. We are in Willow Creek, actually, and I already zeroed out her money and stuff. But as you can see, her parents changed a little bit. Um, I forgot that my, <laughs> my custom content was not enabled when I made her. So I made some pretty vast changes. She's still the same person. Um, she just looks a little different. Uh, she's got eyelashes, which is always a plus. I feel like they Sims just don't look real when they don't have eyelashes. She's got some really pretty makeup on, her CC hair, CC outfit. Um, the only thing that's not CC is her boots. Even her skin is CC, but it's not a big deal because it's not, um, you can't really tell too much. But that is our Sim. She's very, very beautiful. I love her. I don't know why I'm getting leg all of a sudden, but whatever. Um, so the goal of the Rags of Riches challenge is basically to work from the ground up. So you have zero dollars and you work your way up. There are some rules as well that you have to follow during the challenge that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I will link the rules in the description of the video so you guys can go ahead and like watch that. Why couldn't you get to the fish? That's interesting. Um, let's see if she can go to this spot and go fishing. I don't know why she wasn't able to. Okay, she's going to that one. That was so weird. But yeah, if you guys don't know how the Rags of Riches challenge works, there are a lot of rules. There are some things you have to complete in order to do certain things, um, like build a house or any structure for that matter. Um, to start a garden, you have to do certain things with skills. You also have to get rid of some of your simoleons once you have simoleons and you have your skills up. So it's kind of a really fun challenge. I really enjoy it. Um, it's really different and I, I really like it. It's pretty simple, to be honest with you. Um, there are a lot more difficult challenges to to play with and stuff, so. Um, hurt fish friend. That's right. She is a child of the ocean, so she doesn't like anything to do with fish, which is probably actually a really bad choice, so I probably should not have picked that uh, <laughs> that uh, trait for her. Um, for her because she's going to be eating a lot of fish, and she's going to be very sad from doing so, but I think... Once she gets enough money and we want to move her somewhere, I think we should move her to Sulani because I feel like she belongs in Sulani. Um, and I haven't really done a Let's Play that involves Sulani just yet, and I think it'd be a good time to do that with Rags to Riches, like doing a mix between Rags to Riches and um, and basically the like an island living kind of style Let's Play. I think it'd be really cool. Oh, that's interesting that there's two right next to each other. Hmm. That doesn't normally happen like that. Very, very odd. Um, I'm just kind of doing a sweep through, making sure she's not missing anything because we need to collect every single rock that we can get uh, so we can hopefully get enough money to 
someday make a house because um, I picked spring for when we started this, but that doesn't mean that she's not going to feel the wraths of like cold temperatures and stuff outside. Um, so her, she's going to be a struggle in a struggle bus um, until we get all that figured out. So I figure we might as well look now and worry about all the rest of that later. Um, but yeah, so that's the gist of the Regs of Riches. Again, I'm linking it in the description so you guys can kind of follow along with what we need to complete to do things in this challenge because there are quite a few things we have to get through in order to, um, complete the challenge successfully and, uh, all of that jazz. So, Jesus, she's sad for a long time from catching a fish. That's so interesting. Um, so we got a perch. I'm gonna sell that. I think I'm gonna sell the rock as well, sell the upgrade parts. We're gonna keep the frog because hopefully we can get another frog and breed the frogs so we can then sell the babies and you know, so on and so forth. Um, because I think it'd be a good idea to do that. Oh, she got some more stuff here. Perfect, okay. 200 bucks is not bad. Um, I am gonna change her traits, I think, just because it's not gonna be a fun thing for her to do. Um, to basically struggle with catching fish all the time and being upset. So I'm going to change the child of the ocean thing and I'm going to maybe give her, hmm, what do we want to give her instead? I could do child of the islands. Uh, no, maybe we just do loves the outdoors. Huh. Yeah, let's, let's do loves the outdoors. I feel like that's, that could work. Okay, there we go. Yep, you do your poses, you weirdo. Um, but so she's loved the outdoors, which is perfect. I think that actually works a little better for her because she's going to be spending a lot of time, uh, early time in this challenge outside collecting things, as you can see, because she's focusing on that right now. Oh, okay. Now, where the heck is your house? I don't even know where her home is anymore. Um, go fishing there. Just catch some more fish. She does um, need to get, basically, she needs to get something where she can eat because we are actually not allowed to grill things. Um, I think the Rags of Riches challenge has been updated since the last time I played it because now it says you can't even use grills. Unless somebody random starts cooking something, you cannot cook fish or you cannot, like, you know, grill a meal during this challenge anymore, which is kind of an interesting thing. So I'm really hoping she can catch a couple more fish. Um, and maybe we can buy a fire pit because I think the fire pits from, uh, Outdoor Retreat actually fit in your inventory. So, um, and technically you can have, like, before you build on your lot, you can have anything, like, any item that can go into your inventory physically. You just can't, like, have items that, um, like, that you can't put in your Sims active inventory, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to take a look at the fire pit and how much that costs because um, <laughs> she's going to need that eventually um, for this challenge. Let's see here. Uh, the fire pit I'm thinking of is this one. It's 450 So we are halfway there. Um, hopefully we can get her there before the end of the episode because um, it's kind of hard to rely on people, like I said, for... <laughs> For food, um, it's just, it's not a realistic thing. Are there any public bathrooms? Oh my god, there, there are not any public bathrooms. Okay, well I guess we're going to the gym already. <laughs> so we're gonna go travel to the gym, um, and we're gonna have her use the bathroom there. Probably rinse off in the shower as well, just so she's not upset. Um, go to the gym. Then we should probably hit up the library too, because I do remember and recall so we need to get the logic skill up to level three, I think, and handiness up to level five to build a structure. I want to say that's the rule. Um, and then obviously, I think there's some fee that you have to pay as well. I think it's like a thousand something simoleons for like zoning noise and costs like that. So we should probably do that. Um, so she's going to go use the bathroom and take a shower directly afterwards. Um, and then I think... We can go in around here, because I think things should be spawned, or are spawning right now, that we could collect as well, since we're over here. Um, 
I'm not seeing anything besides plants, and none of the plants are grown, so maybe we have to wait a little bit longer for those things to start showing up. Oh, wait. Nice. Okay, so there is a rock over here we can dig up. That's cool. And we have one here. Nice. I don't know what I was talking about. There's plenty of stuff over here to dig up and gather. This is, um, this is a good thing. Uh, she had to get over here eventually because... That's allowed, you actually are allowed to go to the gym and use the bathroom and take the shower. Any public lots are free-for-alls. Um, it's just so you don't basically buy a toilet because you're, you're just not allowed to until you have a structure, unless it can fit in your inventory. Um, you, so you can't even have like um, the woohoo bush or like the pee bush in your game until you get to that point where you have completed everything to build a house. So this is one of the only things that is allowed is to go to public lots to get your need up. You cannot, however, I remember this very, very vividly, you cannot go to a random Sims house to stay the night. You have to sleep on like public park benches and stuff. Um, you can only go to a friend's house, I believe, once a week. Those are the rules. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. Um, there is a lot that goes into this challenge. There's a lot to remember, too. So and I'm really hoping somebody can um, grill something while we're here because uh, I don't want to buy this, um, this fire pit right away. We might have to, though. She is getting a little bit hungry, and nobody's cooked anything on these public grills yet, so that's a problem. Um, let's see. We have this we can sell. Ooh, we have some frogs that we can breed. Let's breed with the spotted eggplant frog. Nice, we have different frogs now. Um, we're gonna hold on to the frogs until we get duplicates, I think, because that's just the best way to do it. I think we have enough also for a, um, a fire pit, so we can go ahead and make a fire pit. That's nice. Um, let's see. Why don't we go fishing while we're here, too? Because that's another source of money. We can always sell the fish. Um, plus, we also need at least one to eat. I've noticed when you grill fish, though, on the fire um, the fire pits, that your sims only like to eat the fish if they're fresh. So we only get to keep one, and then we have to sell the rest that she catches, because otherwise she's going to get sick and she's not going to enjoy her meals. Um, I literally... So for the island challenge... Uh, if you guys don't know, I do the island challenge as well on this challenge uh, on this channel, and um, my Sims absolutely refuse to eat fish that are like over I think eight or nine nine hours old in sim uh, in sim time. So it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, they they need fresh fish, otherwise they're gonna like throw up and feel uncomfortable and like nauseous afterwards, and we don't want that. Um, apologize for all these weird notifications. I do have wicked whims <laughs> in my game. It is streamer mode safe, so everything's blurred out, but it's still annoying because I still get those stupid notifications that pop up. Okay, so we caught a goldfish. I really hope we can get something <laughs> a little different for her to eat, supposedly. Like, I would... <laughs> I don't know. I just eating goldfish does not sound like a good time to me. I don't know. Just because, you know, maybe they're hmm like goldfish are pets, okay? Um I don't think Alana's the type of person to eat a pet. Uh, you know what I mean? So um oh Hold on, guys. Oh, look at her. The struggle is so real. Oh, Jesus. Come on. She's like, why? Why? I need food. I can't eat a box. She, <laughs> she is such a mood, dude. Oh, my God. Look at her. Look at her lip. It's actually quivering. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't help but laugh. I feel sorry for her, but also, like, come on. Come on. It's okay. It's your life. Oh, no. Did she get something? Never mind. False alarm, people. False alarm. Um, I really hope she can get more than what she has right now to eat, though, because she is very, very much struggling. Um, and I really would prefer her not to eat goldfish, so if we can find something else for her to eat, that'd be fantastic. However, this is not looking good. 
Um, we could also stop back at the gym before we go home and take a shower and use the bathroom one more time because, um, oh good, she has something that she can get her fun up with. We're keeping the clay because when they play with it, they actually do get quite a bit of fun up. So we're going to keep the clay for her to play with. Um, and we caught a perch, so that's better to eat. We're going to sell the goldfish. And we're going to go back to the gym and take a shower and go to the bathroom just one more time. And then we'll head home um, and have her roast some fish on the fire pit, which is good. I mean, she can finally eat, so that's pretty incredible. <laughs> hey, look, Ma, she made it. Um, we made it back home and she's got a fire pit. She still got $350 to spare and... Um, no chairs, unfortunately, so she's sitting there on her hands and knees grilling this fish for dinner because she needs something to eat. Um, it's a good thing that they're going to be fresh, like I said, because she won't get sick from that. However, we do need to find a bench for her to sleep on because it is getting late and she is absolutely exhausted. So um, we're going to find somewhere for her to sit and nap. Um, it looks like there's only seats over here. So let's have her go and nap near the water over here. Um, there is a plant. Oh, she strawberries? That's good. That's good because she can use these. She can eat these, um, just in case she doesn't have time to go fishing one day for some odd reason. So that's good. We're going to have her sleep, though, and get her energy up a little bit because then we can get the, uh, the strawberries harvested. She's a little too uncomfortable to do that just now, so she needs more sleep. I'm just going to cue this up, like, five times and hopefully her um her energy will go up and we can also get her to maybe go to the library as well because like I said we need to get logic skill up and the only way to do that to basically you know not be homeless anymore is obviously to go to a park and play on a chess table or go to a library um I think we're just gonna go to the park the main park in Willow Creek because it's the best bet um and there's other areas too where we can go and harvest things around that spot so that's a good bet to do um her energy is basically all the way up so we're gonna have her go around and harvest things and sell things and do all the above oh my god mushrooms too dude she's hitting the gold mine and even roses so once we get um once we get enough simoleons to build a house and then once we get our skills up when we can make a garden, roses are a really good way to make money. They make a lot of profit. Um, so we're definitely going to hold on to those. Snapdragons aren't bad either. So we're hitting the gold mine right now. Um, there's even more mushrooms over here. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff here, you guys. <laughs> even that, like, oh man, she's, she's going to be in a really good position very soon here. Um... <laughs> This is incredible. What else is over here? I'm just going to take a look and make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, we can't go any further that way. Um, okay, she's digging that rock right now. Oh, there's one like right on her lot. That's nice. Oh, and a snapdragon. Okay. Oh, and some more roses. Is that roses? That looks like it's roses. Oh my god. This place in Willow Creek is fantastic for this stuff. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see this? How many harvestables are around here? If you're doing the rags of riches, definitely go to Willow Creek. Um, and then maybe move somewhere elsewhere when you want, like when you have enough money and your sim can sustain themselves. It's probably the best way to do it because I was gonna do the <laughs> rags of riches challenge in Sulani. But, um, <laughs> I took a sweep around the world to see how many of these, like, harvestables were around the area, and there was near to none. Um, I didn't find any rocks whatsoever, so that was an issue. However, there were plenty of plants, but the thing is, is that they're only in season for, like, spring and summer, I think. So, it was, it's kind of a problem when you are relying on stuff like this to feed yourself, basically, and get by. Um, so I decided Willow Creek is probably the best bet, and she can move elsewhere later once we have enough money and we have our stuff figured out, so. Okay, hopefully she can continue- oh no. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to finish everything. Oh, come on. Alright, I guess we're going to the gym sooner than we thought. Actually, let's go to the park. We're going to the park. Um, we're gonna go to the Willow Creek Park, <laughs> because- there are bathrooms there, and that's fine. We can always get her to shower later. We don't need to do that. Or we can wash our hands like 500 times, and that works too. So, Willow Creek Park it is. Um, 
Plus there's, like I said, there's logic tables. Not logic tables. What the heck does that even mean, Amanda? There are chess tables here. Um, and that way she can focus on getting up her logic skill is what I meant to say. Goodness gracious. No wicked whimsing. Oh my god. My Sims. And she's naked. Um. <laughs> okay, this is a mood and a half. Yep, bring it here. Look at that. Naked at Willow Creek Park. Yep. Fantastic. Great, great job, girl. Great job. Oh my god, I can't. Um. Oh lord. The Sim. The Sim is too much. Um, let's have her brush her teeth and wash her hands one more time, and then we're gonna come over here and play chess a little bit. Try to get our logic skill up. Like I said, we need to get it up to level 3 in order to um, build a structure. We also need to get our um, handiness skill to level 5. So I'm thinking what we're going to do for that is go to the library and purchase some handiness books once we have enough money. You're not allowed to grill. And she just wasted $14. Oh my god. Oh, fine. This is your cheat meal. This is your cheat meal. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do that at least once in the Rags of Riches. It's just like... Oh my god, so frustrating. So frustrating. Whatever, you spent your money on it, you can use it. I didn't tell her to do that, so... Oh boy. Grab a serving, eat it, we're gonna throw the rest away. It's one expensive meal you just had. When you could have gotten one for free, you know that, right? My god. The Sim is something else, I'm telling you guys. I am telling you guys. Uh, let's throw that away. Okay, I'm keeping the rest of this stuff because we do want to, um, we do want to have the opportunity to start a garden right away when we can, so there's that. We're going to breed our frogs. Let's do the dirt surfer frog. See, and now we have an extra one, so once we go back to our home lot, we can go ahead and sell that for money. Um, why isn't the strawberry bush grown here? That's kind of interesting. Huh, because it was grown at home. Hmm, I don't know. That's so strange. Very weird. Um, let's just take another swoop around here, make sure we got everything we can. Uh, looks like we pretty much did. Um, oh, never mind. There's some more rocks. More stuff over here. <laughs> Ooh, another frog. Yes! Uh, yes, we're gonna get somewhere. We're going somewhere in life. Um, I think she's she's gonna be set actually a lot sooner than I thought, I think. It's just a matter of getting her skills up now at this point, um, which can be kind of an issue, to be honest, um, because she a lot of your time when you're in this stage of the challenge is kind of getting your bearings straight and making sure your sim is well taken care of versus the money aspect because she can't do anything anyways because she doesn't have the skills for that. So a lot of this time we're going to be spending on this challenge is going to be making sure her needs are okay and also making sure that she has like stuff ready so when she can build and harvest things and start a garden and all this stuff, that she can and she can get right into it. So it's a lot of repetitive process at first with this challenge, but then it becomes a lot more fun because you can um, then start making a house and it's just, I don't know, this challenge is a little different than any other challenge I've ever completed in a good way. Um, I absolutely love the Rags to Riches challenge. If you guys haven't tried it, make sure you do because it's super, super fun. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut off here. We did make a pretty decent amount of progress today, because we can sell this fish here, we can sell three of her time capsules, we can sell, um, sell these upgrade parts here, we can sell this, uh, we've got roses we could potentially sell, but I'm gonna hold on to, because when we get a garden, we can just go ahead and plant them, and those make a lot of money, so... Um, when I, when you play this challenge, play it smart. Like, at least save one rose or one of each plant so when you go to make a garden, you can. Um, why can't you get all this stuff? I'm really confused. You guys see that? She's like, oh, Angie, I can't get it. Like, stop. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the part right here. If you liked this 
episode, make sure to give this video a like on YouTube, obviously, because you're watching it on YouTube. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, because it lets me know that you guys enjoy my content and you would like to see more videos um, like this or more videos of this series. Um, and again, I really appreciate all of you and all of your love and support. It really, really does matter to me. And um, I don't know. You guys are just awesome. So thank you for all of the love and support. And until next time, guys, hoot out.